channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And in today's video, we are going to make something so special for Valentine's Day, or really any day of the year, this would have even been great for Christmas, but we are going to be making my chocolate truffles. These chocolate truffles are so delicious and I've seriously been making them for like a decade <laughs> and they're just so great. Every time I make them, everyone who tries them are so impressed at the fact that this chocolate is homemade and you would not believe how easy it is. So I can only imagine if you made this for that special someone this Valentine's Day, how impressed they would be and how many brownie points you will get. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how I make my delicious homemade chocolate truffles. So first things first, what I like to do when I make my chocolate truffles is to be sure that I have some really good chocolate. And I am going to be using today eight ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. This is a good quality chocolate which you have to sort of cut up yourself, which I've already done. Eight ounces is basically 225 grams or so of chocolate. Be sure to use good quality chocolate and not necessarily chocolate chips. I like the brand Baker's, but you can really use any good quality brand of chocolate. So I just chopped that up and we're keeping that aside for now. So now what I have is heavy whipping cream. I like to use half a cup of heavy whipping cream and I'm going to add this right to a saucepan because I'm going to be heating this on the stove. If you prefer, you can also heat this mixture up in the microwave by all means. I just prefer to eyeball it and heat it up on the stove because cream can really bubble quickly and we really just want to heat this up and melt down the other ingredients. So half a cup of heavy cream to the saucepan. Next, I have some butter. I'm going to be using salted butter, but if you don't have salted butter, I would add just a pinch of salt to even the chocolate because salt does bring out the flavor of chocolate even more. So I have three tablespoons of room temperature butter that I'm going to be adding to the cream. And finally, I have some cream cheese. This is actually my secret ingredient in making these truffles so delicious and addictive. I love the tangy, creamy, addition that the cream cheese adds to these truffles. So please just add two tablespoons of cream cheese right to the mix and it will make your truffles so delicious. If you find that the cream cheese is hard to find, you can additionally add an extra tablespoon of butter in place of the cream cheese, making a quarter of a cup of butter. But I really do love the addition of this cream cheese. So now that we have all the ingredients in this pot, we are going to put it over a medium heat and continuously stir this until you'll notice that the butter and cream cheese have melted and the cream is nice and hot and everything is combined. So I have my finely chopped semi-sweetened chocolate right in here in this bowl. I also have my nice hot cream mixture. So let's pour this hot cream over this chocolate. And what we wanna do is essentially make sure all of the chocolate is covered by that hot cream. And as well, this is optional, but you can add about a tablespoon or two of your favorite favorite liqueur, my choice of liqueur which is rum, but by all means you can of course add any extract right on the top. Now I'm going to let this hot mixture seep into that chocolate for a good two minutes. So don't even try to attempt to stir this until you've given it at least two minutes. This will really soften that chocolate and it will become a delicious, almost like a ganache. It will be so good. Okay, so the two minutes have passed and now we can begin to whisk this nice cream and chocolate mixture. I'm just using a whisk. You can really use kind of your spoon of choice, but I love to whisk in this mix and it's going to transform right before our eyes. As you can see, this really looks like a nice delicious pool of chocolate. This is going to set up so nicely in the fridge. So I'm going to transfer this to a bowl that is a little bit more shallow, that way it can set up a little bit faster. You by all means can just pop this in the fridge like this, but just to speed things along, I'm just going to be transferring this delicious chocolate mix right into this shallow baking dish. Now, if you notice that some of your chocolate hasn't melted completely or you have some lumps in there, feel free to pop this mixture into the microwave for 30 seconds or so. This mix is so easy, you almost can't really mess this up. And of course, even feel free to set this through a strainer if you want it to be velvety smooth, but just like this is fine. I'm also going to be showing you guys how I roll them and what toppings I like to coat these in, so stay tuned for that as well. So now that we have our chocolate ready to go into the fridge, feel free to cover your baking dish with plastic wrap. I have a little lid here, so I'm gonna pop that on and I will let this set for about an hour or two or until firm. Okay, I am back. It is over an hour later. These can set in the fridge for an hour or two or even overnight until you're ready to scoop them. So now I have the chocolate here and it is quite firm now. <laughs> you could definitely not do this before. So I'm using this little half a tablespoon scoop. 
I'm roughly scooping this nice, delicious, firm yet soft chocolate truffle mixture and I'm taking this with a baby spatula and just placing this onto a parchment paper for now. I like to preform all of my chocolate first and then I like to roll it in the toppings. So now that I have my truffles pre-scooped onto this parchment paper, they are essentially ready to be rolled by hand. So they're gonna be hand formed and rolled and then dipped into these toppings. I have some chopped almonds. I literally just took slivered almonds and smashed them around a bit in a Ziploc bag. So they're a little bit finer. I have some toasted coconut, which I lightly toasted on a pan for a couple of seconds to bring up the flavor. I have some traditional cocoa powder, very simple. And I also have a couple festive red sprinkles since this is a Valentine's Day after. After all. So of course with clean hands guys you can even use gloves if you prefer but I don't mind getting my hands dirty and these are going to my family members. We're going to roll the chocolate by hand dip them into the ingredients and then I'm going to be placing them in these little mini cupcake liners. Some of them are heart shaped, some of them are flower shaped, they're super cute. So let's start rolling. This is the messy part. Okay, so we are back after all of our rolling and hard work. How stunning do these chocolate truffles look? They're incredible. Using my little half a tablespoon scoop, more or less, ended up making 25 chocolate truffles and one extra one for me to eat. Now after you roll them, because your hands are so hot and it sort of like gets all melty and warm, I always like to keep these in the fridge at least for one hour until you're ready to serve them. So basically 20 to 30 minutes before you're ready to eat these truffles, take them out and let them come to a little bit more room temperature. They'll just slightly soften. Either way, this is such a nice, soft, creamy chocolate. I can't wait to eat this. I should technically have let this set in the fridge for at least an hour, so this might be a little bit soft, but oh my gosh I can't resist and I cannot wait so let's take my first bite of this delicious chocolate truffle I'm going for the slivered almond flavor mm. Wow mm. so delicious I'm almost at a loss for words <laughs> They truly taste like expensive gourmet chocolates and that is what they are and of course because you made them they are a fraction of the price. This was so easy guys, it honestly didn't take that much time at all. Most of the time is truly in the waiting period and of course things get messy as you're rolling out the truffles and they're melting a little bit in your hands but they are heavenly smooth, creamy, they truly taste gourmet. So I hope you guys love this recipe and I hope that you give it a try. I will of course have the blog post for these truffles on ladolcelisa.com, so check that out as well. I'll give you a few extra tips and pictures on there, so be sure to find the link in the description to my blog. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. If these are for Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. If not, I hope you enjoy these delicious, easy chocolate truffles. Bye guys!